smokehouse for our camping trip. What's the smokehouse name? Uh, pork Palace. The Pork Palace. Here's our smokehouse, stained, half of it stained. Got a nice tell true glow in the dark thermometer for those late nights. And I hope Daddy painted it with the stuff. Yep, Michael helped stain it. We got our nice hardware. Our smokestack. Show you the inside of it. Element. And right now we're having some issues with introducing the smoke, so I've got a small element in there I'm going to use for the wood chips. And our jerky's in there. Right now we got 15 pounds of jerky. We have to we'll figure out a better uh, system for for the racks. Right now it's just cobbled together. Old fashioned wooden smokehouse, but looks can be deceiving. Over here, we've got our electric control from the sausage maker that controls our heating element. And under here is where we have our blower fan which blows cool air over the element keeping it cool and helps to circulate the air. And there's our blower and all our wires are run through the walls into that box. And there's our 220 cord which powers our smokehouse when we're feeling lazy and don't feel like doing it the old-fashioned way. It's a pretty cool setup. All the parts are from the sausage maker uh, they were nice enough to make a couple of custom parts for me and uh, really enjoying just being able to set it and forget it. It's kind of important with these low temperatures to have pretty good temperature control. Pay attention boy, you're not building a mercury you're building a smokehouse. This is the other side of the smokehouse. I like the way the stain lightened up. It gives it that real nice rustic look. Over here we're having some issues with our smoke delivery system because our smokehouse is too tight. We need to introduce some air into it, some cool air for our convection to take place. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill a couple of holes in the back on a couple of lengths of pipe, otherwise known as A-holes or JB holes, those are air holes, and we're going to put ball valves on them so we can control the amount of flow because I'll need more flow on a warm day and less flow on a cold winter day in Buffalo. Well that's it for now. We'll get some more video later of how our uh, smokehouse is coming along, how our jerky is going. Uh, over vacation I'm going to stay in that box and that box. I figure it should take about 18 beers. And uh, we'll catch you later when the jerky's done.